Hey everybody, welcome to Board Online, Board Offline. Today I've got my annual best games of all times list. We're kicking it off today with number 30 through 21. Now a few stats on my gaming real quick. 1,530 plays of 198 games since April 2014 is about the time frame that I started keeping track of my plays. And that's 1,257 hours worth of gaming roughly, uh, That's which is 10 days and 3 hours. So basically what we've got is I have around the top 20% is what I usually try to do. This is less than 20% actually because uh, since I hit 200 games just a few days ago, this list would be my top 40, but I decided to keep it at 30 this year and then we'll push it out to 40 next year. So without anything else, I do want to mention my sponsor, Board Game Co. This is a fantastic website where you can buy, sell, and trade games. You can buy games from their collection. They've got a great collection over there with really good prices. You go over there, uh, click on the link below in the description, and they'll know that I sent you. And check out their collection. But while you're checking out their collection, also think about your collection because they also will buy games from you. They've got a great value system. You know exactly what you're going to get before you even set up the, set, the sale. And also, maybe you're not looking to make any money. Maybe you just want to uh, swap out some games. Maybe your collection, you like the size, but you want some different games in it. They will trade games with you. They can build a trade list right from BoardGameGeek.com using your username. If you uh, if you go to BoardGameCo, put your username into their system over there, and they will build a trade list viewing or using what games you want for trade, what games you have for trade, and the same for them. And the list pops up right there in front of you, and you can select what games you want to trade that way using a really easy to use value system, so you know ahead of time whether or not the trade will even be accepted. So be sure to check out Board Game Co. They make it easy to buy, sell, and trade your way into a better collection. All right, so on to the list. We'll be starting out right now. And of course, we do everything by the minutes. This is the top 30 in 30 minutes, starting right now. All right, so number 30 is Secret Hitler. Now, this is a game from the same people that brought you Cards Against Humanity. You got uh, two different teams. It's a social deduction game, and one team is uh, the, the liberals, one team are the fascists, and it's basically Germany right before Hitler takes over. Uh, the fascists obviously are trying to get Hitler to take over. The, the, the liberals are trying to block him. And if uh, and you're doing this by passing legislation, basically, and, and you don't know what the legislation is, it's just it's just a matter of passing either liberal policies or fascist policies, and you know you uh, end up with a stack of three um, three policies, and some will be liberal, some will be fascist, or maybe all or one or the other, and players take a vote, and then you know, as far as um, yeah, or really, you pass it off to one player, they they then weed it out, another player then has to choose between the two that are left over, and so sometimes that player will, you know, they, they won't know, uh, they won't have a choice, is what I'm trying to say. And then the players later will vote on whether or not they think somebody needs to be kicked out or what have you, and people are, are I know it's not me, I, I'm, you know, I, just, I had no choice, I had to put the fascist, fa the, the fascist policy there because I was only given two fascist policies and all that kind of stuff. It's a lot of fun, secret Hitler. Uh, Mansions of Madness is my number 29, Mansions of Madness 2nd Edition. This is the app-driven version of Mansions of Madness. The first edition is great, I really enjoyed it. The second edition really took it to a different level. Uh, exploration because you start with just a single tile on the board and the, the app will tell you hey okay put this tile out whenever you go to the edge of the first tile and explore out and then it handles the app handles all the bad guys so it's fully cooperative you can play it solo uh, lots of scenarios uh, generally pretty long scenarios so keep that in mind but there's all kinds of storyline that goes on you've got a real sense of mystery nice uh, you know ambiance for the music uh, when coming from the app or obviously you can use your own but uh, such a fun game so much exploration there that's Mansions of Madness second edition number 28 is Specter Ops this is a game where one person is 
hidden. They are an, uh, an agent. They're trying to steal secrets from this evil corporation. The All the rest of the players are hunters, which are basically genetically modified uh, individuals. Uh, one's like a big beast. Uh, another one is uh, this guy that, uh, you know, is like a sharpshooter. They can shoot all the way across the map type thing. And so initially the player is using this uh, map that they write on to track their own movement because the hunters can't see you at all. Eventually the hunters might see you and then, you know, whenever they can see you, you put your piece on the map, but when they can't see you, you're back off the map again and you're keeping track of your movement on here and they have different abilities to help them try to track you down and they're trying to get you before you steal a certain number of secrets from the corporation and get back off the board or maybe you're actually blowing stuff up regardless it's about the same you you go to different points on the map flip something over move on to the next point that's specter ops my number 28 number 27 is on mars i played this for the first time at my uh, my buddy ryan's house on mars is a very very heavy game very heavy game but so much fun i'm sure i didn't even come close to grasping all the concepts in, in the game i really can't wait to try it again and get more uh re really dig into what that game has to offer you are on mars uh obviously and but you're going off mars and then back and then off and then back and there's this mechanic where the, the spaceship comes to pick you up uh every certain number of turns so you don't get to leave whenever you want you gotta wait for that to come back you're building out your base on on mars and the other players are doing the same you're collecting resources uh you're you're getting different um you know, different types of buildings are, are being built. It, you know, you're doing all this different stuff on there. So many different moving pieces, so many different uh, things that you need to keep track of as in terms of uh, planning for the future because you need this to happen before this will work. And so much fun on Mars, number 27. Mechs versus Minions is my number 26. Mechs versus Minions is a cooperative programming game where it takes place in the League of Legends universe. You are a Yordle, so are the, all the other players. You're fighting against minions. And when you're when you're playing, uh, you're, you're in these mechs and you, you initially have a couple cards in front of you. They are the mechs um, uh, uh, program. And as you play, the program gets busier and busier. And sometimes just wacky stuff will happen because you get the program so out of control that your mech's doing all kinds of crazy stuff. And you can reprogram it, but when you take damage, all kinds of bugs end up popping up in the programming and make your mech do all kinds of other stuff. And you've got, I think, like 13 different missions in Mechs vs. Minions. It's a lot of fun. Number 26. Number 25 is Euphoria. Build a better dystopia with the expansion uh, you, you euphoria is uh, basically a worker placement game where your workers are the dice and they you you roll them and the number on the dice is their amount of knowledge and if they gain too much knowledge then you lose your workers and you have to recruit more uh, and the whole idea there is that they they realize the the most knowledgeable one realizes oh I'm trapped in a, in a dystopia here I need to get out of here and so then he runs away and so the more workers you have, the better in terms of being able to do more stuff, but the more likely that they're going to realize they're in that dystopia as well because it's their collective knowledge that causes that to happen. And you have four different factions on the board that you're going between to collect different resources and you uh, are trying to uh, basically be the one to get the most influence over the dystopian society and become the leader of everything. Number 24 is Tapestry, also from Stonemar Games, same as Euphoria. Tapestry is a civilization themed game where you are, there's four tracks you're moving along to indicate your kind of your, your technology. There's a map in the center of the board where you're spreading out your outposts, your influence, that sort of thing. Players can fight a little bit over that, but it's really more about the victory points that you gain from doing all these different things. You do get some victory points from the military stuff, but then you, there's science and uh, two other tracks as well that you are moving along and you have these tapestry cards where you're... They, they give you different abilities and stuff. You move through four, eight, four ages, I believe. And your civilizations have these nice big cards as well. They give you sp specific abilities. 
And the cool thing is that as this game continues being played, Stonemaier Games keeps track of the wins as people report them, and they will handicap different factions or, or buff different factions based on how they're playing overall in the wild. Number 23 is Terraforming Mars. So Mars is on this list twice, all right? So Terraforming Mars is similar theme to On Mars, plays drastically differently. This is one where you are uh, one of several different corporations. You're, you are terraforming Mars. It takes place over the course of years and years and years. And the game ends once you have enough, you know, uh, oxygen and water and uh, heat, I believe, on the planet Mars. You're building out different areas of Mars. You're, you're you know, putting plant life on Mars. You're putting, you know, biodomes, all kinds of cool stuff like that. Uh, an enormous variety of cards during this game for you to select from. Uh, I hear the best way to play is drafting. I don't believe I played drafting when I've played this before, but I definitely want to give that a shot. Terraforming Wars, my number 23. Number 22 is Architects of the West Kingdom. Now, this is the first of two different West Kingdom games on, on my list. Architects is... Uh, a worker placement game, but one of the coolest things about this game is that you can actually arrest the your opponent's uh, workers, throw them in jail, and then the work the the opponent has to use more another worker to get them back out, or or and there's <clears throat> various ways they can end up getting back out, but but. And so as you're playing, you uh, have this big board, a big, lots of different choices and areas to go to, and you uh, are, are just trying to keep your guys out of jail and throw the other guys' people in jail and be the one who is the best architect in the kingdom as you're building up this area. As Architects of the West Kingdom, number 21, finally, is Terra Mystica. Terra Mystica is a, another new one that I played uh, at Origins last year and it is a super dense uh very very uh tricky game to get into glad i had somebody to teach me and you are are basically again terraforming actually there's a lot of, a lot of that on this on this list as well you're terraforming this this fantasy landscape to fit your personal needs every faction has their own landscape their own kind of terrain they want to live on and there's so many different powers it's all in this in this fantasy theme but also in this uh kind of um I don't know what, what, what word I'm looking for here. Sorry, y'all. Really, really fun, though. Terra Mystica, I'm out of time. Uh, my number, 21. All right, so that is my list. Numbers 30 through 21. I hope you enjoyed it. Please be sure to come back for the rest of the videos in this list. And until next time, if you're bored online, bored offline.